I created free agents FC and put them in German third league. We will be climbing up divisions by signing only free agents until we win Champions League with that team. So let's start. First signing will be Patrick Peda, Polish center back. He's 21 years old, 62 rated already. Cause we are in third Bundesliga, max rating cap will be 64. Until we promote it to second Bundesliga, when we can sign free agents up to 74 rated. And whenever we promote it to Bundesliga, we can sign any free agents we like. Next we sign Arnold Andersen. He is also 21 years old, 63 rated, representing Iceland. Last but not least, Claudio Roman, Romanian striker. He is only 20 years old and is already 64 rated. If he can grow well, he can be our striker for many upcoming years. We will have max 4 signings per season. This will be our last signing. So let's simulate till the end of the season. Ok, we are 10th of the first season in the league. And it is a good season from Claudio Roman. 14 and 1 and also 6 and 7 from Anderson. Patrick Peda is already 66 rated. We are starting second season with signing of Roberto Aquino, Argentinian goalkeeper, 18 years old, 63 rated already. So we can get rid of this guy, Patrick Richter. Next transfer will be a center back, Emmanuel Sanogo from Côte d'Ivoire. He is 17 and 64 rated. Next we got this guy, Manuel Orellana, Chilean midfielder. He is only 16 years old, 64 rated, 5 star, 5 star. Great addition to the team. And last transfer of the season, we got this guy, Arthur Fischer. Another hot prospect, this time from France. He is a 64 rated center forward. Only 16 years old, he can be backup for our strikers. Quick update on potentials of our players. Roberto Aquino has only 75 potential. Emmanuel Sanogo has got 73 potential. Manuel Orellana has got 77 potential. And Arthur Fischer has got only 67 potential. Arnor Anderson has 73 potential. Claudio Roman only 69 potential. And Patrick Peda has 72 potential. As you can see, none of them has more than 80 potential and it is quite unlikely that they would be in the team in the end of the career if they don't hit dynamic potential in these first seasons. Here is the team after 7 signings. As you can see, we are using 5 to 1 to formation. So let's jump to the end of the season and see whether we can get promotion with this team. Okay guys, I definitely expected much more from our team, but yet we are only 12th. And in terms of individual performances, original players of the team, Graf and Haas, are leading the line. Claudio Roman has got himself only 10 goals and 1 assist, 11 assists and 5 goals from Manuel Orellana and 10 goals and 4 assists from Arnor Anderson. We are going to stay one more season in third Bundesliga and free agents signed by our team should not be higher rated than 64 for one more season. We are starting third season with the signing of Iago Cardenas, Spanish central midfielder, 17 years old, 64 rated, our first signing above 80 potential. Next we sign Albi Finch. He is also showing great potential, 16 years old, 64 rated, center back from England. We also signed Ralph Becker from Netherlands, one more backup striker and Owen Dodgson, another backup, this time for left wing back position. So we completed our four signings, let's simulate till the end of the season with the hope to be promoted. And we are directly promoted to second Bundesliga, equal points with Paderborn but better goal difference. Tobias Haas, original player, he will be leaving us after this season. Claudio Roman with 13 goals, good season from Aurelian. 7 and 8. As we are finally promoted to second Bundesliga, max rating of the players that we can sign is now 74, so we can sign real gems. Fourth season is underway and we are starting big with signing of Samuele Bruno, Italian center back, 74 rated, 21 years old, 79 potential. Next we signed Mark Oliveira, showing great potential, 18 years old, 70 rated right midfielder from Argentina. We got a new striker, Arthur Morel from France, number 9. He is 19 years old, 70 rated, showing great potential. He will be our number one choice in attack this season. We sign Jose Luis Carrizo. He is also a right midfielder, 19 years old, 68 rating and only 77 potential. As we signed two right midfielders, we decided to switch Mark Oliveira from right side to left side. 
We changed formation to 3-4-1-2 to fit our new signings. In goal we have Aquino, Sanogo, Bruno and Peda as center backs. In center midfielder position we have Cardenas and Orellana, Oliveira and Carrizo in flanks, Anderson as Cam and two strikers Roman and Morel. No, we are only 4th, this means we will not be promoted this season to Bundesliga. And also we were out from Cup in 3rd round. Good season from our newcomer striker. Other than that, very mediocre season from other players. Max rating cap for new signings will be 74 for one more season. First signing of the 5th season will be Federico Rivera. Spanish striker, 19 years old, 70 rated, showing great potential. I hope we got our striker partnership. Joshua Bush is also joining us, he is a 17 years old goalkeeper exciting prospect 71 rated already but for now he will not get play time in our team so i'm going to send him to loan for a couple of seasons we also signed this guy hugo de oliveira brazilian center attacking midfielder he will be backup for anderson this season last signing of fifth season guido de luca italian center back 19 years old 73 rated showing great potential now we have five center backs i think we are sorted in this position let's get this promotion and we are actually saying second and directly promoted to Bundesliga. This time we were eliminated from the quarterfinals of German Cup. Good season from both of our strikers. As we are promoted to first Bundesliga, we can now sign any free agents we like. This season we decided to strengthen midfield, starting with Leamin Ibrahim. He will be backup for our white players. Next we have signed this guy, Tobias Friedrich, German center midfielder, exciting prospect, only 19 years old and 75 rated already. He will be sharing his playtime with Manuel Orellana and Iago Cardenas. Another German center midfielder, Maximilian Martin, he is a little bit lower rated but has the same potential as Tobias Friedrich. I am going to send him on loan this season. Season, so we get appropriate playtime. I think we are good enough to end up in mid table. Maybe push for European spot. Let's simulate this season and see. We somehow avoid relegation. Only 35 points minus 20 goal difference. This was a abysmal season. None of our players delivered in Bundesliga. Luckily they have chance to do it next season. We are starting 7th season with the signing of Leao Teixeira. Right midfielder, exciting prospect from Portugal. He will be competing with Jose Jose Luis Carrizo and will overtake this position. And finally we have found some generational talent. Thomas Tron, 18 years old, 83 rated already, has potential to be special. He's French center forward, most probably a region of some Frenchman. He can become the key to our success. We also signed this guy, Declan Brewer. He is a center back. He will be a backup in this position. Patrick Peda decided to leave us and submitted a transfer request. Let's briefly check out the team. In goal we have Bu who has way more potential than Aquino. In left center mid position we will be playing Tobias Friedrich instead of Manuel Orellana. Right midfielder will be new signing Teixeira. Deadly partnership up front. Two Frenchmen Thomas Tran and Arthur Morel. We ended up regular season in Bundesliga on third position, which is a great improvement compared to previous season. And next season we are going to play in Champions League. Let's see the stats. It is actually Thomas Tran, 15 and 5. Great season from Tobias Friedrich. He has 16 assists. Next season let's compete for every possible trophy. And for that we signed Arats Cruz, Spanish center back, 20 years old, 79 rated, showing great potential. We needed center back because our captain Samuel Bruno stagnated in his development. We are training to convert Maximilian Martin from center mid to camp position. So he will be backup for Hugo de Oliveira and maybe overtake his position. This time we are second after Borussia Dortmund. We improved one more position in league standings. We are also in the cup finals against Darmstadt. But in Champions League we were actually third in the group with Paris Saint-Germain, Roma and Ghent with equal points only one goal difference between us and Roma. But in Europa League we passed AZ Darkmar, Leipzig, Lanz, Arsenal and we will be playing against Manchester United in final. Let's simulate this match and we actually won in extra time. 98th minute Rivera with the goal 3-2. Our first European trophy. We won German Cup in same fashion. 3-2 goal in extra time. This time it was thrown. Good season from the perspective of individual performances as well. Let's keep it up and win the Champions League trophy next season. Finally we won Bundesliga 
Bundesliga title after being behind Borussia Dortmund for a couple of seasons. Now we are above them in league table by 8 points. We won Super Cup against Dortmund in the beginning of the season. And also we won German Cup 3-1 against Bremen. As well as UEFA Super Cup 2-1 against Juventus. And in Champions League we were first in the group against Ren, Chelsea and Dugarden. In round of 16 we knocked out Villarreal. Then Atletico Madrid, another Spanish team 7-3 on aggregate. And in semi-finals we were better than Inter. We are going to face Paris Saint-Germain in Champions League final. And in terms of goals, it is actually Leo Teixeira. What a season from him. 40 goals and 14 assists. And again, good season from Tobias Friedrich. 19 assists and 11 goals. Here you can see our team before Champions League final. As you can see, we have 84 rated player in left mid position. And highest rated players are 90 rated. They are Tren and Teixeira. It is possible that we can win all trophies in season with this team because of FIFA's realism mode that I'm using. Link will be in the description below. And also please tell me if you would like to see more videos using this mode. Martin is with the ball and we have space here. He passes ball to Tomatka, fights for the ball, wins it back and passes to Morel. 1-1 on -one with the keeper and he scores. Good culture attack from our players and we are in the lead. Paris Saint-Germain is on attack. Kylian Mbappe with a through ball to Joao Neves. He has some space here, shoots and he equalizes. We will have to start everything from scratch. Artenas see opening and passes to Martin. Martin puts the ball to Morel. 1-1 -on -one with the keeper once again and he scored. We are taking the lead again. We lost the ball here to Doku. Doku finds Mbappe and he scores. Still a mistake from Buer and Paris is back in the game. Good opportunity here to cross. Martin gets the loose ball. Great foot for from Maximilian Martin. He plays the ball to Oliveira and he scores. We are taking the lead one more time. This time we need to hang on 10 minutes and we will win this game. It is full time. 3-2 Free Agent FC. We absolutely did it. Unbelievable season from Free Agents FC. And here he is, Jago Cardenas. Our captain is lifting Champions League trophy. 9 years and we are champions of Europe. 